We're still up on the tripod. Take a look at that sky this morning. Wow. Yep, we're in Owen Sound with a very ominous looking sky. Oh boy. Weatherman said, I think it's only a 30% chance of rain today. Wow, take a look at that. Take a look at that sky, guys. Wow. Oh yeah. In here. We're making our way from the travel lodge. Travel lodge is behind me. I just had their continental breakfast, which is breakfast in a bag given to you by the counter at the reception on the morning. You get a little ticket for it. They also have, as well as what's in the bag, which was a muffin, two granola bars, a bottle of water, and an apple juice. They have coffee, bananas, uh, regular oatmeal and a variety of different flavored um, individual packs of yogurt so I have of course the banana the yogurt the muffin the coffee actually got two bananas I pack him one out for today's day hike slack pack uh, which is going to take me oh boy can I remember the name of the road no but as you enter into Owen Sound, uh, you walk, you come along past the Polish tree, which we did yesterday in the heavy pouring rain, <laughs> and you pop out again on 26. And you walk down 26 for a period of time, then you make a left turn. That takes you uh, up to and through the KOA property. So that's where we're heading to right now. I'm not sure if it's this road. I don't know. Anyhow, it could be, or it could be the next one. Maybe it's the next one. But we're heading up to that particular road that's going to take us through the KOA property. Oh look, for sale, $8,000. So if you need a bus, there you go, Big Boys and Girls Club of London. Huh. <laughs> Anyhow. Hey, good morning, everybody. I believe today is day 24. Slack packing day. Uh, you know what? We're just going to get out of this kind of town area and back on the trail. Away from all this traffic. There's a blaze right on that telegraph pole. Yep. We are back on trail. Still on a busy road. <clears throat> I think as I was approaching back to the trailhead, well, it's not really a trailhead, it's just an area that I got off, an intersection, a corner, if you will, uh, where I got off trail yesterday. But I think I could be on Grey Road 5 because I did see a sign for that. Uh, although I'm not 100% sure. Windy today cold well okay i'm not gonna say cold i'm gonna say cool i don't know it's about seven degrees six or seven degrees celsius about it uh whew, these are raining and for the immediate moment my feet are dry <laughs> just up here is when we hit the the koa property and KOA is a great spot, by the way, for the through hiker. You go right through their property. Um, but I think they're like $50, $55 a night. And like last night, a motel was around $70. And with that, you get the hot bath, the TV, the comforts, uh, continental breakfast this morning, as I'd mentioned earlier, muffin, coffee, all that kind of stuff. I don't know really depends on the individual and it's much 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 easier to overnight charge all your battery banks like I have to do uh, for vlogging because I go through a lot of electricity although my iPhone 11 Pro Max uses a ton of it uses 
90% of the electricity I use goes through that. The other 10% is from my GoPro batteries and my headlamp. Anyhow, so yeah, KOA property, dead ahead. Today's activity, it's about 25-ish kilometers on trail. Another woo, seven or eight kilometers off trail of hiking to get to and from the trailhead. So it's like a 30, somewhere between 30 and 33 kilometer day overall. Only about 25 or so of that is on trail. But again, it's gonna take us past the KOA property, which you can see right here. I'll show you. KOA Campgrounds of America, you see their flags, the yellow side right ahead of us. Right there, you make the turn, the trail turns to the left, goes through the property. Uh, so from there, we wake, we make our way from, if memory serves me right, we'll go past the Owen Sound Snowmobile Club clubhouse and eventually cross the highway where we were very close to this morning at the travel lodge and where we'd be very close to again tonight when we get back to the travel lodge we cross there and i believe it's called the palisades that we enter that's a challenging rocky kind of section of trail i believe from there we make our way to the bottom end of owen sound and start to make the turn around the northern end and of course i believe that's where we will encounter inglis falls which is always a spectacular sight from English Falls, we wake our way, I guess it's northeast, I guess it is, or north, anyhow, let's just say north, uh, to the top end of Owen Sound, where we will then jump off trail and make our way through the city of Owen Sound again, back to our motel. In the morning, well, after our amazing continental breakfast, we will <laughs> make our way back to where we jump off today and start the push then to Wyerton, uh, which is basically a three-day hop. Okay, KOA, Cramp Gowns of America, let's get at it. Oh, and sorry about wobbling you around, Bruce Trail. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go.
just kind of for a point of interest, I suppose, scheduling, if there is such a thing out here. Um, I did get confirmation of my pickup in Tobamori, so I do have uh, transportation arranged from Tobamori back home. I think that's around a three and a half hour drive back to Wasaga Beach from Tobamori, the northern terminus of the Bruce Trail. And my options as far as pickups were the second Sunday, the 2nd of October, Monday, the 3rd of October. And when I was, it was a week ago that I was actually trying to make these arrangements with Joanne to pick me up there and her friend who goes with her to pick me up. Anyhow, I got confirmation, she sent me a text a couple of days ago saying we'll be coming up, or they'll be coming up to pick me up on Sunday, the October the 20, uh, sorry, October the 2nd. And we'd arranged on about a five o'clock pickup time. So that does give me a full day of hiking that particular day uh, to finish off whatever I need to. <sighs> um, and I believe, not sure right now, but I think from where I am, or from where I will finish off today and start again tomorrow, I think it gives me somewhere around a 26 and a half, maybe a 27 kilometer day average to finish by that particular date uh, so doable definitely uh, workable definitely do we have a work cut out for us uh, definitely I think so much depends on weather if we had weather like today for the next nine days would be golden uh, because sun's popping out sky's getting bluer and bluer um, unfortunately the weatherman is forecasting rain right through till Thursday I think it's going to be on and off rain Monday seems to be the worst day that's actually one of the reasons I'm pushing in extra slack pack miles today so tomorrow when I start, I can start at the north end of Owen Sound, which is going to shorten the distance down to, I think, 74 kilometers from that point to Wyerton after Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to accomplish those uh, kilometers. And then, of course, I have a motel booked in the Spirit Rock on Monday evening in Wyerton. So if I can push, on the possibly better days, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, then the heavier rain day, which is supposedly the Monday as of now, um, I may have less less miles to do, make it a little easier on me. Uh, so that would be good. And then of course the Tuesday morning, we push north out of Wyerton on a six day hop to Tobamori. That's the overall plan, um, generally speaking. <laughs> yeah. The trail, well, as you saw a little earlier, we had some challenging sections, some of that Jurassic stuff going on. Let's just take a little look at what we've got right now. We've got forest right now, curvy, uh, kind of rolling hills type forest some rocks some roots but you know what not too bad at all Well, here we have an observation tower, kind of like a, what's this, K2 
Okay. So I tell you what. Let us go take a look up the tower. Let's see what the views are. Like climbing the fire towers on the Appalachian. See what we see from the very top. Up and around we go. Whew. Where we get to, nobody knows. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Wow. Amazing. Whew. What a beautiful view. Wow. That is gorgeous. Okay. Trees on this side. I can just see the road below that we just came from. By the way, further down that road that we just crossed, we just crossed a road, by the way, to get to this tower. Well, that's where my motel is, just down that road. But we're not there yet. We've got, wow, these are a little tricky. Going down, take a little look. Woo. Tiny steps for such big feet like mine. All I can get on there is my heels. Are we supposed to go down backwards? I don't know. Anyhow. We're gonna push from here, I believe, through the Palisades and to, I believe, English Fall, English, English, English Falls. Okay, let's keep moving on our slack packing day. Welcome to Inglis Falls Conservation Area. Where are we? It says you are here. Oh, right there. We are there. Um, so which one is the Bruce Trail? Bruce Trail Main Trail it comes up this way. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess. We are approaching the English Falls. I remember it being quite a spectacular falls, pretty um, interesting. A little further behind, kilometer behind, we were walking near a um, rapid river that you've got a peak of now and then just through the trees. There's a few families here and there uh, just kind of enjoying the, the rapid river. And obviously the falls had been to, I'm guessing. Um, it's around 11.30 right now, which means since I left my motel to this point here, it's been four and a half hours. So, I don't know how much further I've got to get to the actual falls themselves, but I don't know. 
somewhere between four and a half and five hours from leaving my motel, the travel lodge this morning, heading back out to the trailhead as we did on, I think it was Grey Road 5 we talked about. And basically working my way all the way back to the same highway that my motel's on, crossing that and then carrying on into the Palisades and and basically to where we are now. Lots of information as we go down now an easy trail. Forest plants. The springtime, the summer colour display. Awesome. So yeah. So far so good. We'll go around the bottom of this particular area, which is the bottom of Owen Sound by the falls and make that turn head north and um, eventually later today I'm not sure how far from here seven kilometers maybe from here we're going to come to a side trail that takes me to a parking area that parking area is going to connect me back to uh, streets and so on in Owen Sound and from there I'm going to make my way hiking just walk back I think three or four kilometers to the um, travel lodge and I will do the opposite to that tomorrow morning and carry on down the trail so oh, up the trail I say we're going to be heading north and as I say as I've said before and we're pushing towards Wyatton okay let's keep going let's find the English Falls Escarpment Discovery Center well does it look like there's anything going on? No. Closed. Well, we have a dam. Oh, that's interesting, look. Right here is the top of English Falls. Ingalls grist mill all right just reached uh, the blue blaze that's going to take me to uh, the parking area where I'm going to jump off and then make my way back uh, to the travel lodge for my night's accommodation. Um, well, it's been a good solid day. Um, I only, I kept at it pretty steady. So, I don't think it's too late in the day by any means. I think it's only about one o'clock-ish. Uh, only took one quick five-minute break. Um, of course, I've been eating bars and stuff as I go. But only took about one five-minute break. Of course, if I was carrying full pack, it would be an hour later than now. And I would have stopped and had a lunch. But because my agenda was such that I was going to, I was slack packing today, getting my miles in, getting to the point I wanted to be at for tomorrow morning uh, for my push to Wyatt, I decided just to get at it and get it done. And lo and behold, here we are at the parking area. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make my way, but it's not far. When I say it's not far, I think I'm about three four kilometers to the motel but I need to buy a cap and then we've got rain coming 
cap is usually important. Um, it really does make a big difference keeping the rain off your face. Anyhow, having said those things, I'm going to see where I can get a cap, see if I pass a dollar store or something. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Especially the way I go through them, because I lose them a lot. Okay, let's keep going. 